Hello friends, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox, and today I'm presenting for the Funky Junkie Boutique Inspiration Avenue. Our theme was Holiday Home Come Celebrate with Food. So my favorite food is candy, so hence I have the candy shop here that I created in this older, cool plaid lunchbox that I picked up at a vintage fair. So this is com compartmental crafting at its best. Again, I've got all of these little, um, little figures here that I ended up attaching to an old paint stick, as you can see, and I hand painted them all. And again, it was just easier to have them attached to something. So in my case, it was a paint stick. So I ended up um, using distress paints and painting all of the um, all of the different parts here. And so then I'll go ahead and snap them off here. I ended up using um, adding some glitter using um, collage medium and then the rock candy glitter. Um, again, I probably should have used uh, glossy accents, but again, a lesson learned. So there's my figures. This is the um, the brick. This is going to be the walkway, and I used the Brickwork 3D folder and colored it with um, fired brick and rusty hinge. So again, that's part of it. I've got these little, um, little candy pieces here, uh, the confections. And then I also have these little tiny bottles that I filled with little little bling candies that I had. So again, these are all the things that I'm thinking about using. There's my tree with the um, colored with distress ink and mica flakes. Um, you know, again, just kind of moving these packages were little styrofoam um, packages that I pulled apart and redecorated. These are the bobbles that I just added the snowflake uh, grit paste to. Um, so again, I had these two little um, little boxes from a larger, I don't a shadow box type of thing. I'm not sure, but anyway, they were able to be pulled out of there. So I went ahead and painted them white, and then I used my hot glue gun to attach the um, a couple of the little candy bottles. So again, this is going to be the inside of my of my candy shop. And again, I used the um, I created that box by starting with the baseboard transparency. This is the window. And what I ended up doing was creating the box by cutting chipboard and then covering it with green uh, green cardstock. So I want to fit the tree in there. So I'm doing some trimming here so that I can kind of stick the tree in the corner. And so I'll have more information on my blog or on the blog post as far as how, you know, how I actually created a lot of these things. My, you know, my goal today was really just show you how I put this whole scene together and, you know, how I compartmentally crafted to, uh, to accomplish it. So again, the tree's going to go right there in the corner. And I was hoping to get Santa in there, but my tree's too big. So anyway, Santa's gonna gonna have to go someplace else. I'm not sure. Um, not sure where I'm gonna put him yet. But again, these are all the pieces here. And so this is kind of showing you how that box is put together. And again, hot glue gun. This is my thing. It's actually attached to an etc. Um, the square. Um, square panel that just came out and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some um, some of the stuffing you know the polyester stuffing that you use when you're making quilts and things and that'll kind of give me a fluffy layer for um, you know for my snow so again using collage medium to go ahead and attach it there So we'll go ahead and glue that down and you can see I've got two layers there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the brick walkway on top. And so hopefully that will kind of, um, you know, push down the, uh, the edges of the walkway and the snow will, you know, look like it's got snowed above the, above the walkway. So again, I'm just kind of making sure it's attached here in the corners. 
This was just a really fun project to do. I fell in love with the plaid lunchbox that I started with. I've actually hoarded that thing for a couple of years. I just, I've always been waiting for the right project. So again, there is that 3D um, brickwork. And you can see I did add some black gesso splatters on it too. So again, I'm just gonna, I got a hot glue gun. Magical, magical. So again, I'm kind of stretching the snow out to make sure that it reaches the end. So there's my brickwork. And let's see, I got to get the tree in here. And so I kind of found by um, laying, you know, squishing a bunch of the hot foil, um, I was able to, um, not hot foil, the hot glue, <laughs> I was able to get them attached very, very well. So again, at this point, um, I've realized that I need to move the hole or the opening for the, um, the lights because I had it actually too far in the corner. So I'm just, you know, that's what I'm doing here off screen. Didn't want to poke it through my, through my table. So I'm kind of doing it off, off the side here. It's better to do this earlier, but again, hindsight's always 2020, right? So again, I'm just working on getting my hole here that I can, um, you know, pull the light up. And again, I wanted it to come up first um, to the, um, for the outside so that I could add the lantern and illuminate the lantern. So again, right now, just, you know, trimming the tree, trying to make sure that it's, uh, you know, it's going to fit in there in the corner. And so then I'm squirting the hot glue on it and putting it there in the corner. So there you can see the outside. You can see I ended up trimming the brick walkway, which I shouldn't have done because then it ended up to be a little short. So I ended up having to glue uh, the extra piece back on. But, you know, hindsight. So again, now I'm just kind of playing with the items. There's my, um, the lantern. So again, determining where I want the opening or where I want to start my tiny lights because I want to put it through the lantern first. And I just use my pokey tool and, you know, take a scissors and, you know, just put it in there to increase the whole size so that I can actually get the lights through. So again, I'm going to pull them all the way through and then I'll put the first two lights or the first light actually up through the lantern and then I'll run it back and have it enter the side of my little house here or my little candy store. So again, I'm just uh, just putting it all together. I'm gonna throw some hot glue gun or hot glue down using my glue gun to um, to attach the lantern. All this fiddly little stuff putting together, but it sure was worth it in the end. <laughs> I really loved this piece when I got it all put together. It's really cute. And the, the uh, baseboard with the candy shop pulls out so that I can close the lunchbox and store it. I'll have to find an appropriate box for the candy shop, but again, it'll be easy to store for next year. So once I've got that all straightened out, then I'm going to feed the lights through the, um, the side of the candy shop and wrap it around the tree. And then I just continued adding cute little things. I've got a sled up front, which is actually a Christmas ornament that I hoarded and had. So I, I thought he would be really cute up front with a package. There's your shol shol soldier. And there's Santa there sitting in front of the tree and the paper dolls with the, with the snowflakes. So again, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Blogger. Would love to have you come follow me.